Let's talk about solving problems using parts per million or parts per billion. Using parts per million or billion is equivalent to declaring the number of parts of solute in 10 to the 6th or 10 to the 9th parts of solution, respectively. And we use these problems to describe the concentration of extremely dilute solution. When you're solving these types of problems, any units can be used to describe weight by weight or volume by volume systems. However, when you're doing weight by volume concentrations, you always have to make sure that you're using grams and milliliters um, as your units. And just a reminder, parts per million is the number of parts of solute in 10 to the six parts of solution, and parts per billion is the number of parts of solute in 10 to the ninth parts of solution. So let's try an example. This question reads, if a source of drinking water contains 1.5 parts per million of fluoride, how many micrograms of fluoride are present in one glass, which is 250 milliliters of water? So remembering that we have to set up our equation, our conversion as grams per ml, we're just going to make this 1.5 grams and since we are using parts per million, we know that this must be 1 million mLs. Okay, and now we're trying to convert to micrograms, so we're just going to keep reducing this down until we get down to micrograms. Okay, so we'll reduce it another thousand and we'll get 1.5 micrograms is per one ml. And then we know that we want to know how many micrograms of fluoride are present in one glass of water. So essentially we're just going to do a nice little conversion. So 1.5 micrograms per one ml times 240 mls will give us 360 micrograms of fluoride.